Hello everyone, it's Steve here at Barwell UK Airbrush Supplies and in this video we're going to be talking about the actions and the different type of airbrushes. There are two different type of actions to an airbrush. There's a single action and a double action airbrush. The single action airbrush is this one or similar to this one here and basically the single action means that the trigger which is this part here when you press that down the air and the paint come out of the front of the airbrush at the same time so that is a single action press and everything happens air and paint come out together the double action airbrush you press the trigger which is this part here press it down for air and pull it back and how far you pull it back determines how much paint comes out so double action press for air pull back for paint and air and that is a double action airbrush and the single action airbrush you can predetermine how much paint comes out of the front of the airbrush when you press the trigger down by altering the needle set in here. So this first screw locks the needle in place. You screw this second one to the front and push the needle gently to the front of the airbrush and lock it into place. So that's now locked into place and the needle won't come out. So you can now preset it by unscrewing the second screw which is pulling the needle back down the airbrush. So if you unscrew it quite a lot you're pulling the needle further back so more paint will come out. If you screw it in and it's only pulled back slightly, you'll get less paint coming out. And that is how you preset how much paint comes out of a single action airbrush. The du double action airbrush, as we've already said, you press the trigger down and as you pull the trigger back, that is pulling the needle back and opening up the tip to let that amount of paint out. So if you pull it all the way back, you'll get a lot of paint out, pull it a little way back, and you only get a little. And that is the two actions of an airbrush. Now there are different types of airbrushes, and as we have here, we've got a gravity feed, and the paint goes into the cup here, and then gravity is helping to pull the paint down and out of the airbrush. This single action airbrush is a suction feed, which means you connect the paint underneath here, and as you press the trigger, the paint is sucked up and comes out the front of the airbrush. Suction feed, as it says. There is also a side feed airbrush and as it says the cup is on the side of the airbrush so with this one you put the paint in here in here and you then pull in the paint across and out of the front of the airbrush each airbrush has its own uses um, the suction one has the benefit of having nothing blocking the view so you can look straight down the airbrush at what you're pointing at and there's nothing blocking your view. Also if you're having to work at different angles you can turn the cup around and I'll just move these out of the way to make it clearer. You can turn the cup around so you can paint at di different angles quite easily and the 
single action airbrush you put your paint on the bottom again there is nothing blocking your view to what you're pointing at and with this you can also fit very large bottles onto the airbrush if you have large areas to paint and the artists that use these type of brushes normally are painting larger areas or painting t-shirts such where they need large volumes of paint. Um, then the gravity feed airbrush the paint goes in here and gravity is helping pulling the paint down and out of the airbrush. Now with the gravity airbrush we need less air pressure to get the paint out of the airbrush because gravity is helping so we can turn the air pressure right down so we can get more detail. With the suction feed airbrush because we're having to suck the paint up out of the bottle so we're lifting it up and we need more air pressure because we've got to lift the paint up in the first instance before it comes out of the airbrush. With the side feed airbrush we need a little more than the gravity feed airbrush because we have having to pull the paint across and then out of the airbrush. So a little bit more, not a great deal but we still need a little more and so out of the three airbrushes the gravity feed needs less air, the side feed needs a little bit more and the suction feed needs the most air because we've got to pick the paint up. There are variations of these airbrushes. We have different size cups which this is the same as this airbrush so it's a gravity feed but it has a smaller cup and the reason for that is for the person that wants to see more uh, you haven't got a great big cup blocking your view and also if you're only using small amounts of paint a lot of the time that benefits that you also have airbrushes that has no cups. It basically has a slot here and you can get six drops of paint in there and that is for the person again that doesn't want anything blocking their view down the airbrush but are only painting small detail and only needs a very small amount of paint. They are the different types of airbrushes, side feed, gravity feed, suction feed, single action and double action. I hope this video has been of help. We've had many customers asking about the, why are there different types of airbrushes. I hope that's explained it a little. In future videos we will go into these in more detail. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like if you enjoy it and it has been helpful and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content. Again thank you for watching.